Shalom, this is the new Ben Israel at Hebrew on Island 2. Today's video is many Hebrew and Egyptian artifacts found in the Americas. Way more than in the so-called Holy Lands in the so-called Middle East. I'm going to show you a quick video. This is from the History Channel. Look at Hebrew Decalogue stone authenticated by America Unearthed. They don't want you to see this. They don't want you to know these things. The promised land flowing milk and honey is from the North Pole to the South Pole. North America, South America, Mexico, all the Caribbean islands, Peru, Brazil, etc. Everything from the North Pole down. That's what's flowing with milk and honey. Beautiful flowers, all type of insects and things and vegetation, not dusty sand balls only. Okay, check it out. And do your own research. There's a lot of stuff on this. I'm only giving you a little bit because I want you to do the research. Hebrew artifacts, more Hebrew artifacts found in the Americas than in anywhere else. Decalogue stone with the Ten Commandments written on it on all sides of it. And this is a stone box that the Decalogue was found in. Okay. So when it was found, it was enclosed in this box and you couldn't even see the stone mm. inside. The box is carved out inside exactly to fit the Decalogue stone. Well, who's that guy? Well, this figure here on the front that's wearing a robe and a turban and holding either tablets or a breastplate, and over his head, in these Hebrew letters, it says Moshe or Moses. Oh. So that must be Moses. Okay, that's Moses, sorry. Right. Who delivered the Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments, uh, okay, well. It seems to pass the scrutiny of the skeptics as far as the, the Hebrew text in the language, so now I'd like to try to add some evidence to this whole discussion. After it was carved, it scratched like I would expect. But it fits snug. So the box in itself it took an awful lot of work. I mean, if it, if it was really a forgery, you wouldn't go to all that much trouble to make a box for it. So uh, I think that speaks to its authenticity that someone really was, this was very important to someone. This is a lot of work and it's polished. It's got the detailing of the grooves. It wasn't made, as far as I can tell, from modern machinery. Geologically, I don't see any problems here that would make these things obvious hoaxes. So the skeptics have rejected this. Well, that's been a factor, but the I mean, Hebrew is an odd thing to find here. The fact that it's odd doesn't mean that it's not genuine. What it boils down to is really the problem with these artifacts is that the academics don't like them because they don't fit the paradigm. And unfortunately for them, you can't dismiss things simply because you don't like them. Right. And so the evidence to me seems clear. There's no reason not to accept these as genuine, legitimate artifacts. Listen, you know who's the devil of these heathen. The apex devil demon is the Caucasian heathen. You know, they told one lie, now they got to tell a whole billion other lies. They don't want you to come to who you are, where's your position in the world, on the flat earth, and uh, what's your relationship with the Most High, and your motherland. They want, they want to strip you of everything that includes your homeland as well. More artifacts found in the Americas, with an S, than anywhere else. Columbus came over here with a Hebrew interpreter. Why? In the memoirs and the dictionaries, copper-colored people are the first Aborigines found here with Afros, not with straight hair like you see. These fake Mexicans and Native American $5 Indians, etc., etc. Do your research. 
There's tons of information about Hebraic artifacts, Egyptian artifacts found in the Americas, where you are, Hebrew, where I am. Till next time, Shalom.